a new controversy surrounding two Memphis parks that used to hold Confederate statues. Mm -hmm. Saturday, the group that now owns them removed the pedestal for the statue of Jefferson Davis. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. The statue itself, along with one of General Nathan Bedford Forrest, was removed last December. Now tonight, there's a debate over whether or not Memphis Green Space did the right thing. Local 24's Mike Matthews explains the battle in tonight's top story. This is it. This is what's left, okay? They had a pedestal on top of this concrete slab that talked about Jefferson Davis. It's gone now. And the head of Green Space here in Memphis says they had the right to take it. The statue, gone. The podium, gone. The cannons, they're possibly out of here. Those are not real cannons. They're decorative. And so those are not the actual cannons. And I'm um, speaking back to y'all. And so uh, what we'll likely do is just maybe try to keep those in a safe spot as well. In case you're wondering, the original cannons were melted down during World War II for their metal. Other park items, the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not remove them according to Memphis Green Space. Governor Bill Haslam, he did not officially approve removing the Jefferson Davis pedestal. He did allow Green Space to submit what's called an RFP, a request for a proposal. It didn't include anything about the Jefferson Davis statue pedestal. He never said you can move the stand. No, that's... He, ne he never said no, that. No, we never said that. You sure? Yeah. The governor has indicated that he's okay with the RFP going out. A Nashville judge has issued a stay, which means nothing can be done with the statues until the court hearings are done. Meanwhile, people who are still watching all over this, well, they have something to say. Uh, I don't make no sense. That just gives somebody that just gives somebody a way to, to gripe and make you spend some money. That's all. It makes no sense at all. But it does to Lewis Wilkins. I know what the statues represent, you know. And, you know, being, you know, a black man, you know what I'm saying? Brother, you talk about all kinds of legal things that have to go on in this case. We're just starting. They're not even going to get to the oral arguments. That's when attorneys make their arguments before the judge. They're not going to get to that until the fall of this year. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.